This is Jupiter Today for the 23rd of January, 2015. Jupiter Today's daily podcast focusing attention on the Jupiter system for the purpose of monitoring activity. At zero hours UTC, the position of Jupiter on the celestial sphere is a right ascension of 9 hours, 28 minutes, 11.7 seconds, and a declination of positive 15 degrees, 54 minutes, 20.9 seconds. The angular separation from the Sun today is 163.072 degrees. The phase angle is 3.081 degrees. The distance between Earth and Jupiter today is 654,979,490 kilometers. And that's 689,557 kilometers closer than what it was yesterday. That gives a relative velocity between Earth and Jupiter of 28,731.54 kilometers per hour, slowing down very rapidly now. The past 24 hours it's slowed down by 1,882.38 kilometers per hour. The distance between Jupiter and the Sun is 779,002,057 kilometers. And that's 46,935 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And it appears that Jupiter is moving away from Jupiter from the Sun at 1,955.63 kilometers per hour. The central meridian at zero hours UTC, CM1, 293.53 degrees, CM2, 61.15 degrees. CM3, 325.76 degrees. At zero hours UTC, EO begins the day in quadrant 4, heading east. Europa starts the day in quadrant 1, heading east. Ganymede spends all day in quadrant 1, heading east. And Callisto is in quadrant 2, heading west all day. Io and Europa and Callisto are moving towards some very exciting transits tomorrow. You can see information on those transits on my blog. At 6 hours UTC, Io is still in quadrant 4, heading east, but going to be moving behind Jupiter pretty soon. By 12 hours it's done that and is now in quadrant 1, heading east. Europa has passed its eastern elongation and is now in quadrant 2, heading west. And by 18 hours, Io is fairly close to its eastern elongation, going to be moving also into quadrant 2, heading west. And by 0 hours UTC tomorrow, Io is firmly in quadrant 2 heading west, along with Europa and Callisto. And Ganymede is the only moon in quadrant 1, and the only moon heading east. There were two Jupiter satellite events today. One is going to happen at 1254 UTC when Io disappears into the shadow of Jupiter. And at 1537, Io reappears from behind Jupiter. Okay, there were... It's going to be th three... Satellite mutual events. The first one goes from 905 to 919 UTC, and that's when Callisto eclipses Ganymede. It's a four-point... 14.4 minute event with a very deep estimated magnitude flux drop of Ganymede of 1.393 magnitudes and Ganymede is 150.9 arc seconds from Jupiter and Callisto and Ganymede appear to be 42.07 arc seconds apart. As you can see this is the point on the Earth, this is the position on the Earth where Jupiter at that time will be at the zenith so this is showing the visibility of this event on 
Earth at this time. You can see that all of North America will be able to see it. Some of South America will be able to see it. Hawaii will see it. The next event takes place from 1252 to 1302 UTC, and that's when Europa occults Ganymede. It's a 10.6 minute event with an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.12 magnitudes. And these two moons are 188.53 arc seconds from Jupiter. And again, you can see the point where Jupiter is going to be at the zenith at that time. And maybe the northwest corner of North America will see it. A lot of Western Asia, some of Australia, folks in Hawaii, you'll definitely be able to see this occultation. And the third today takes place at 1620 UTC, goes to 1631, and that's when Callisto eclipses Io. It's an 11 minute event with another fairly deep uh, magnitude drop of 0.667. Io is 97.54 arc seconds from Jupiter, and Callisto and Io are 31.05 arc seconds apart. Okay, 24 hours of Jupiter sky standing on the equator of Jupiter at a longitude of zero degrees. There goes Io into shadow for a bit. see Callisto and Europa are lining up for tomorrow's transits. Year is not going to be far behind. Getting awfully close to that triple transit tomorrow. The red spot crosses the meridian of Jupiter three times today. The first at 101, second at 1057, and the third at 2053 UTC wasn't one new image posted. And there was no new radio data and no new papers. The time of this recording is 1.36 UTC on the 23rd of January, 2015. So please subscribe. Enjoy hearing your comments and questions and suggestions to make this ever better. You can send your images and your comments to the email shown. And until tomorrow, I bid you peace.